everyone, this is Paige Mills from the John P. Holt Brentwood Library. Today we'll be making DIY antique photos. Alright, for this craft we'll need a pot of coffee, a cookie sheet, some paperweights, spray bottle, a photo printed on cardstock, and some newspaper. For step one, we're going to begin by taking our coffee and pouring it into our cookie sheet. Step two, we're going to take our picture and we want to dip it into our coffee. We don't want to let it submerge and stay there because it's going to get soggy, so I'm just going to carefully place it in there, dip a little bit, and then flip it, and then immediately take it out. I want some of the excess coffee grain. Step three, we're going to lay out newspaper, and we're going to put our picture on the newspaper to do it above the edge here that way this fold doesn't interfere with the picture as it dries. Step four, I'm going to place my paperweights on the corners of the photo that way as it dries it won't try to wrinkle or warp and work on itself. Step five, once your picture is dry if it's not the full antique look you want you can take your spray bottle with coffee inside of it, coffee or tea, and you can spray your photo to give it more of a splattering effect. On to step six, once your artwork is completely dry, you can continue to flatten it by putting it between some books or magazines uh, before you frame it. If it's got wrinkles or it's warped in the size, while it's in the frame, it won't look authentic. And this is how easy it is to make an antique DIY photo. I have named mine Reginald and his pet cat Cumberbatch. Show us what you've made. Thanks for watching.